true, was it? About the women? What about them? What your uncle said, that you had to beat them off with sticks? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Huh? <laughs> oh, come on, honey. You know I knew other girls before I met you. I told you all about them. Besides, you're the one I married. Then you admit it. What? That you asked me to marry you. Well, I must have. Because, look. <laughs> Gonna turn your light out? I'm ready. Steve. Hmm? Do you love me? Hmm? I said, do you love me? Of course I love you. Oh. What's the matter? Is that all you can say? Of course I love you? Is that bad? It's worse than bad. It's so unemotional. It's like saying, of course I love you. What other choice do I have? <laughs> Well, come to think of it. Steve. Oh, honey, all right. I love you. I adore you. I worship the ground you walk on, the, the air you breathe. You're my one, my only, my whole life. How's that? <laughs> Thanks. You want to turn out the light? <laughs> Oh, honey, for crying out loud, that was my uncle talking. Just like I told you about all my old girlfriends, just like you've told me about, uh, what's his name? Wilbur Hithlund. Yeah, Wilbur <laughs> Oh, well, I'm sorry if I haven't had enough of a past to intrigue you. Are you kidding? Huh. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I could steal a girl from the arms of Wilbur Hithlund. That's just what you did, you know, when you asked me to marry you. You keep saying that. Why does that keep coming up so often? Well, your uncle evidently thinks it was the other way around. And you know it wasn't, don't you? I guess so. All right, I know so. Besides, what difference does it make who asked who? I mean, look, I'll tell you something I do remember. I remember which of us was the first to say I love you. Which? Uh-huh. <laughs> you don't remember. <laughs> well. Okay, it was me. And I remembered as if it were last night. Where was it? Down at Ziffel's Hog Pond. Oh? Yeah. I remember I was waiting for you and you were late because you had a singing lesson and, and I was about to uh, leave and... What's the matter? I never took any singing lessons. Oh, well, it was some kind of a lesson anyway. I was about to leave and, and then you came and... and I, I remember the dress you were wearing. It was sort of... It was sort of reddish and it had a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? A uh, 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 scoop neck and... Uh, uh, now what? Me in a red dress with my hair? No. I've never worn a red dress in my whole life. Boy, have you got this story down on back. Oh, well, so I missed a few little details. Who is it? It's me, Billy Joe. Oh, uh, just a minute. Okay, come on in. Oh, hi, you guys. Listen, I have to leave early in the morning for my engagement in Omaha. I might miss you, so I thought I'd say goodbye now. Is anything wrong? No, Steve was just telling me some kind of story. It wasn't a story. I was recalling the first time I told her I loved her, and she doesn't seem very interested. We weren't getting it very straight. He said it happened down by Ziffel's Hog Pond. Well, look, maybe I'm in truth. Ziffel's Hog Pond? That's right. He said I was wearing a reddish dress with a scooped neck. That's right. She was late coming from a singing lesson, and I'd almost given up on our meeting, and, and then she came, and I remember looking up and seeing her standing there in the moonlight, and, uh, and I, uh... <laughs> oh, good Lord. That, that was you. Yes, it was. And it certainly isn't very flattering having you forget it. Well, speaking of being flattering, how would you like to be remembered in somebody else's love scene? Oh, come on, honey. Now, look, it's a natural mistake. I went with her before I went with you. Well, if it was so natural, why didn't you marry her? Because... Are I... you kidding me? Marry someone who can't even remember saying I love you? Uh, no, thanks. You can have no. Oh! I can have them. Huh? I think oh, I can better God. go. Well, you two, not like this, you're not. Oh, let her go, her with her red dress with a scoop neck. All right, that's it, that's it. Tomorrow he leaves. Who? My uncle George, that's who. He started his last fight around here. Steve, my boy, I was just...
was thinking about you. Well, I was just thinking about you, too. <laughs> We've got to get something straightened out right now. Of course, my boy. But first, I want to explain something to you. I'm leaving, you Never see? mind that. Now, you're leaving? <laughs> Come on. Not, uh, not that I haven't enjoyed my visit here. I have very much, but uh, you know me. Restless like to uh, keep on the move. Only one thing I don't like, and that's, uh, that's goodbye. So I thought I'd sort of slip out in the morning, and uh, you could say them for me. Tell everyone how much I enjoy meeting them, hope to get back soon, you know, that sort of thing. You can do that for me, can't you, Steve? Uh, yeah, I uh, <clears throat> suppose so. <laughs> and I knew I could count on you, my boy. Oh, uh, you, uh, you had something to uh, say to me? Yeah, well, uh, uh, forget it. Oh. <laughs> Bye, my boy. Have a nice visit? Yes, I... Uh, shouldn't you be... Uh, that's, a, that's all right. I got her on. I know, I know, on automatic box. <laughs> and I banked the fire in the firebox so she'd run out of steam just as we coast into the station. <laughs> Did you have a nice visit? Yes. As a matter of fact, I had a lovely visit. Baby is just adorable, and uh, Betty Jo is a perfect wife and mother. Did you get along with the family okay? Oh, fine. Just I love them all. I think they like me. All in all, uh, it couldn't have been a more pleasant visit. Oh, oh stick slipped out of the throttle. <laughs> Glad everything went well. Thank you.